Welcome to the PPT box. Today we will learn how to animate the images and move them on the top and bottom of the slides as shown. Although it's a very easy effect, yet it becomes complicated sometimes. What you have to do is just follow me step by step. Number 1, import your pictures. Import your pictures in the slide and arrange them so that the height of all the images becomes the same. Number 2, group your images. Select all your images by holding the shift key, right click on it, and click on group. Your images are now grouped together. But as you can see these four images are not filling the whole slide. Therefore, copy paste this group and arrange it. Zoom out a little bit. Now what you have to do is combine these two groups by selecting both of them holding shift key, right click and choose group. Now it's looking pretty good as you can see. And the third and final step is to animate the images. Select your group, click on animations tab, and apply fly and inference effect. Open the animations pane, right click on the effect and open the effect options. Change the direction from bottom to from left. Under the timings tab, select start with previous. Now setting the duration of animation is an important part of this tutorial. Set the duration of animation according to how much time you want to show that particular slide to your audience. However, keep in mind that longer the duration of animation, slower will be its speed, and vice versa. To begin with, let us set the duration to 15 seconds. Click on OK, and you will see that we have achieved a very nice animation effect. Now, copy and paste these grouped images and place the second group at the bottom of the slide. Do remember to shift the group towards left. Then, open the effect options and change the direction from left to from right. Boom! You have learned a very nice technique to enhance your PPTs. But, what if you want to increase the duration of animation so that the images move for more time on the slide? You can see that. If we increase the duration time to about 30 seconds, the animation becomes really slow as compared to the images moving on top of the slide. In order to rectify this and move the images fast, simply copy paste the grouped images again, and combine them into a single group as we had done earlier. Now, you will have to apply the animation effect again to this new group. After you apply the effect, you can now see that the images are moving faster. Thus, the point we learned here was, longer the duration of animation, slower will be the animation, and vice versa. And, larger the group of images, faster will be the animation, and vice versa. The duration and the number of images in the group, are dependent on each other. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Welcome to the PPT Box. Today we will learn how to achieve this beautiful animation effect in PowerPoint 2016. We will be discussing two different ways to move the images in a specific path. Import your pictures in the slide and arrange them in this order. Try to adjust and keep the height and width of all the images same. Then, select your image, click on the animation tab, and apply custom motion path from the drop down menu. Make a path by clicking at the center of each image holding shift key. Remember to start the path from the image where you want to apply this effect. And the image starts moving. But obviously it's too fast and it's not looking nice. Open the animation pane and click on effects option. Reduce the smooth start and smooth end to 0 seconds. In the timings tab, apply start with previous and increase the duration of animation to about 15 seconds. Increasing the duration of animation will slower its speed and vice versa. Then, choose this option to repeat the animation until the end of slide. Similarly, repeat these steps and apply this effect to your other images too. To achieve a more professional look, apply reflection to your image. Congratulations! You have learned a very nice technique to enhance your presentations and amaze your audiences. Now, if you want to move your images in some other order, maybe in a circular path, then just follow these simple steps. 
Select your image and click on Animations tab. From the drop-down menu, select Shapes under the Motion Path effect. Your image will start moving in the circular path. If you want to change the shape, click on the effect options and a number of shapes will be available to you to choose from. And if you want to increase the size of path, maybe a larger circle, the click on effect options and then edit points. Simply drag the corners of the path to the desired location. Now, open the animation pane, right click on the effect and open effect options. Apply the same settings which we had done in the previous method. Remove the smooth start and smooth end, start with previous, duration about 15 seconds and repeat until the end of slide. Also apply a nice reflection to your image. And it's done. You can now move the images in any custom shape you want and make amazing PPTs. Welcome to the PPT box. Today we will learn how to achieve this dot syndrome animation effect in PowerPoint 2016. Very simple and easy effect. Open your PowerPoint and type some full stops. Increase the size so that it fills the slide. Click on Animations tab and add fly in effect. Open the Animations pane, right click the effect and open Effect Options. Change the direction from bottom to from left. Select the option to animate the text by letter and enter a delay of about 3%. Click on Timings tab, select Start with Previous, and slower the duration to 1 second. Click OK and the first part is done. Next, add another animation, fade under the exit option. Open the effect options tab. Enter a delay of about 3%. And slower the duration to 1 second. Click on OK and you will see that you have achieved a very nice animation effect. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, do subscribe my channel to learn more about PowerPoint and don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Welcome to the PPT box. Today we will learn how to animate the shapes to achieve this awesome loading effect in PowerPoint 2016. Open your PowerPoint, click on Insert and under the Shapes tab, insert a rectangle by dragging the mouse button. Under the Format tab, click on Shape Outline and add any contrasting color to the rectangle. And now the game begins. Again insert a rectangle shape, and keep it smaller than the original rectangle. Click on Format tab, and fill color in the shape. To remove the shape outline. Next, copy paste the image, and arrange it next to the original one. But, reduce the length of this rectangle so that the loading looks more natural. Repeat these steps, copy paste the rectangle, and add variations in their lengths. Now, we need to animate all these shapes. Select the first rectangle and click on Animations tab. Add wipe and trance effect, and change its direction from bottom to from left. Repeat this step and add wipe effect to all the rectangles. Now, we need to adjust the timing of every effect, and for that we need to play with these three options, that is start, duration, and delay. Select the first effect and select Start on click, increase the duration to about 1 second and ignore the delay. Now for every other effect except the first one, we will select the options, Start after previous, so that only the first effect appears on our mouse click and the rest moves on its own. Alright, now we need to play with duration and delay. Set the duration of every effect randomly, maybe as fast as 0.5 seconds for one rectangle and as slow as 2 seconds for the next rectangle. The more random the duration of animation will be, the more natural the loading effect will look. Similarly, randomly add delay to every effect so that the loading takes some time to complete. Looks wonderful. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Do subscribe my channel to learn more about PowerPoint and please don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Welcome to the PPT box. Today we will learn how to fade and change multiple images on the same slide. First of all, import your images in the slide and make the height and width of all the images same. 
so that these can be overlapped over each other. Next, animate your images. Now this is an important step. Select your first image and add Fade and Trans Effect from the Animations tab. Then, add another animation to the same image, Fade Exit Effect. Now, select your second image and repeat the same steps, add Fade and Trans Effect and then, Fade Exit Effect. Open the Animations pane. Right click the Fade Entrance Effect of the second image, and select Start with Previous. In this way, the second image will appear as soon as the first image disappears. Do remember to add the effects, in serial order. The common mistake we usually make here is that, we forget to add the effect to the images in serial order, and then it becomes difficult to rectify that. Then, overlap all the images and you will see that we have achieved a very nice animation effect. You can use this effect, along with the text too. Looks wonderful. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, do subscribe my channel to learn more about PowerPoint and don't forget to hit the like button. Thanks for watching, see you next time.